what's going on Scorpio Sing your guys love and light thank you to everyone that's like shared subscribed uh, purchased a reading or donated to my page I really do appreciate you this energy can be masculine or feminine so you go right on ahead and place it on whatever side you need to okay um, if you guys are new welcome if you're returning to my page welcome back I do appreciate you guys rocking with me okay um if anyone needs me you can reach me <clears throat> at embracing mattress at gmail.com or embracing mattress.com okay i'm gonna get into this energy my scorpios let's see what's going on here all right we have Mayat and, and Sekhmet. Oh. All right, so we have fairness. The situation will be handled in a fair and just manner. Okay? So Spirit is saying, whatever has happened to you, you feel like things are not going to go in your favor or um, people are not going to see your point of view, they will. Okay? So this is not something that you need to worry about. For some of you, if you're going to court about anything, things are going to be good. So don't worry about that. Okay, Sekhmet is saying be strong. You are stronger than you think you are. And your strength assures a happy outcome. Somebody's telling me that somebody here is going to court for a traffic violation. And you're going to be fighting. Um, well, you are fighting. The reason why you're going to court the cop that gave you the ticket, don't worry about it. The cop's not going to show up. That's what I'm hearing. Mm. Go figure. Right? Spirit is saying be strong. Some of you are worried about going to court because this is not something that you normally would do. For someone here, I have someone here that every time you, you go to court, you get locked up. And that is the fear. Like, I don't even want to mess with them like that. I don't even want to go type thing. The spirit says just go ahead and take care of the things that you need to take care of. You're going to be just fine. Have somebody that's envious of you what else okay they're in their feelings right now feeling real pitiful why okay this is why so there's a person around you Scorpios that's in their feelings um, because the relationship with them has ended um, or their time around you has ended and they're feeling really pitiful for themselves right now because they feel like you know um, you're not available to them anymore this was a lust based relationship um, this may have been dark for some of you you may have had BDSM type sex. Somebody may have liked their nipples tortured a bit. Somebody may have liked to be choked. From what I'm seeing here, this person is absolutely missing you, Scorpio. Uh, or this could be you that like these things. Take it how it resonates. But this is just a clarification coming through of who I'm speaking to. Okay? Okay, so we have father, absent father, toxic relationship with father, father wounds. So whoever I'm speaking to has the issues with their father. This is the second time I got this hospital card. Okay, so someone may be dealing with a Capricorn or have somebody with Capricorn in their chart. Or you could have it in your chart. But someone is ill, okay? 
Um, someone's parent may be ill right now. Or someone can have a baby daddy that's ill. Right? Yep, single. This is a male. Single male. Could be a father to someone's child here. Um, now, it says visiting, sick, incident, etc. But while somebody is at the doctor for something else, they're going to find out that they have um, an STD of some nature. And someone's going to want to lie about it. They don't want somebody to know. Christmas time or winter could be significant here. Let's pull two. Um, someone here likes to go zip lining. They like the outdoors. They like to be adventurous. So this could be clarity for you, just pointing you to whomever this is. And someone may be uh, going through issues to the point where they need to have counseling. Okay, you may need to see someone professionally. There's nothing wrong with that. And if you feel like that's something that you need, by all means, do that. Okay, someone also may be job hunting. Take how it resonates. Okay, when it comes to this lust card, what do we got? Yep, Ace of Wands. Someone was out here dealing with three or more people, right? They were dealing with one person more than the others, right? Because this candle is, is lower than the others. Meaning, yeah, I, I got a main person and I got other people on the side. And, yeah, someone was having sex. Um, passionate beginnings with people. Um, taking action towards them. You know, uh, dating, showing affection. Um, one night stands, sexual trisks, stuff of that nature. Someone could be pregnant as well. Or someone could have gotten pregnant as per a union of that nature. This could be why someone is needing to go to the hospital. They could be giving birth. And while they're giving birth, they're going to find out that, that someone has an STD. Mm. What is it, Spirit? Spirit is saying someone needs to be strong here. When it comes to this pitiful energy, the chariot is here. Okay? Um, Spirit is saying you no longer have to feel sorry for yourself, whoever it is I'm talking to. You no longer have to be in this pitiful energy because you can pick yourself up and go a different direction. Okay, whatever boundaries, whatever blockages, whatever uh, um, obstacles are in your way, you can remove them as long as you're deter ter uh, determined. <laughs> Thank you. Determined, okay, as long as you know that, you know, you need to set a goal in your head of what you're going to do, what it is. Somebody here could uh, be having a car problems or they could be buying a new car as well selling a car someone here may be traveling soon or you just got back from traveling someone here could be trying to book a flight that's what I'm hearing book a flight right Either way, I see this envy from something that has been long past. Um, and yes, yeah, someone may be trying to uh, make some changes here, unexpected changes, right? So this person that's envious may be popping up on someone, okay? Just coming out from nowhere, okay? Um, because they don't like that you're going in a different direction. They don't like that. They don't have access to you. Right? Like somebody here could be the father of someone's child. Right? I don't see a relationship with that union. I just see that somebody could be knocked up. Someone here may be depressed about it too and may need to speak to a counselor. Like I said, maybe uh, the baby is due around Christmas. Or could have been conceived around Christmas. 
Okay, take how it resonates. There's going to be some sort of expected change. Okay, now with this tower card, I don't feel like it's a good one. All right, tower cards can be good, can be bad, depending on what's out here on this deck. And I don't feel like this is a good tower card. I feel like someone was needing to do something. Spirit has been trying to get someone to do something. And since Spirit, Spirit couldn't get through to somebody, Spirit is stepping in because that's really what a tower moment is. I'm going to step in and I'm going to shake shit up for you. I'm going to shake it up to the point where you have to go a certain way or a different direction with this chariot card energy. Clarify the tower card, please. Yep, Eight of Cups energy. Somebody's going to walk away from another person. I don't think someone's um, expecting that. Chariot. Yep, Nine of Wands energy. Yeah, I don't think someone's expecting someone to walk away. I don't think someone is saying this person is going to leave me. But this is what's happening. Okay. Um, there may be a reason why someone has to walk away depending on the circumstances of what's going on. But I do see that someone could be having a baby now or, or um, could have recently. Okay. Someone could have had a baby, could be pregnant right now, or could be finding out that they're pregnant soon. Okay. Which is going to prompt the other person to try to fight for something with them uh, because, yeah... There could be a baby in the mix, you know. Um, hey, come back. I need you back. Don't leave me type of situation, right? We could we could do this together. We can um, we can be a family type of unit, right? Because I have a single, single man here. And the single man has father issues. So it could be that the single man is going to try to come back into something for Ten of Cups situation. Yep. To have a traditional family with someone. Someone's going to be trying to do that. Alright. So I'm leaving it here. Uh, oh, Scorpio, this is a hot mess. Um, sending you guys love and light. You guys take care.